Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Trash Pack Series 1, The Gross Gang in Your Garbage. Over a hundred to collect and swap, you apparently get five trashies in a can. Oh, excuse me, in trash cans, pluralize. As you can see, there are five cans with one trashy uh, visible. Find the ultra rare trashy, as also indicated by the package up at the corner there, and also indicated for ages five and up. Pick this up at Toys R Us. I know some trash packs have originally come in uh, the garbage can blind cans, as it were. Uh, in this case, they've now gone to what looks to be a much um, more visible pack, I guess, with smaller cans, with one being visible. On the back of the package, look for the limited edition trashies, game booklets are inside. Let's zoom into some of the ones that you can find. There are the Grubs, Awful Pie. Don't worry, Spot won't read every single one of them. I think Foul Nugget is the one I had before, because I have reviewed these before, and I got Foul Nugget. There are some other ones there. Smelly Fish, Putrid Sardine. And we got the Hard Rubbish, Puke Pod. Oh, that's not good. Scummy screen. Uh, you know what? Uh, you would want to try to find a way to recycle those, not just throw them in your garbage can. Ooh, smelly sock. The bin sex. There are some insects. And bin critters and bin monsters. This is where you seriously have a garbage problem when it goes from bin sex to bin critters. Maybe that's when you might start wanting to clean out your garbage cans. Bin monsters, a little too late. Bin infections call in the government. Then you get moo cow disease, chicken pox, flesh eating virus. Yes, by all means, stay away from those. So, as we will not know what we're going to be getting inside, what I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. I'm going to get the garbage cans laid all out. And then we're going to find out together which one Spot got. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Uh, Spot makes the promise he did not peek. I have no idea what's in these actual cans. The only one that's open is the first can, the one that was visible in the package. Before we actually have a look at the cans, inside with the trashies you get yet another list. It's the same list that's on the back of the package, the back of the package we looked at earlier. And on the front, we actually get a game booklet. It shows you how to play the game. Take out the trash. Which is somewhat funny because I'm sure parents giving, telling their kids, take out the trash. Um, kids probably might be thinking, oh, we get to play trash pack. No, uh, literally, take out the trash. Throw it in the trash can. Another game you could play is Garbage Strike. Ooh, we had that problem in our city. There was a Garbage Strike. It wasn't as fun as what these three kids were having. Garbage Strike. And finally, Stack the Trash. You like these games? You want to see more? You can also check out www.trashpack.ca for more. You know, just put this aside. We might have to reference this. In fact, I almost have a sneaking suspicion that we will be referencing this. Having a look at the first trashy. Each one do does come within a small, almost looks like it could glow in the dark. I think it's just because it's like a neon green color. But each one comes in a little garbage can. I like this. I like this a lot. Here I am mixing ideas here, but certainly if you don't collect the trashies, but you have the garbage cans, you can make like little ooze canisters for your Ninja Turtles. Eh? Good idea? Maybe not. I don't know. But they're there. You get a little garbage can. And for starters, we have this little critter here. Now I'm just going to guess, I'm just going to go out on a limb here and assume that this is some sort of fish creature. He's either been eating bubblegum or he's been eating somebody. I don't know what's going on in his mouth there. But they're all squishy. 
a little hole on the bottom that you could probably maybe put on a pencil topper if you even use a pencil nowadays maybe somebody will write down below spot can you use it on your stylus yes I suppose you could use it on your stylus as well new generation let's have a look at our uh, let's have a look at the reference guide here let's figure out what we might have gotten could they have maybe been part of the bin critters uh, no hmm let's see if I can try to find this guy I'm looking around oh there he is there he is there he is there he is right there spot first got the smelly fish right there see it number 35 smelly fish which apparently is a rare I had no idea yellow is rare I got a little smelly fish he's not too smelly but he does have that rubbery you know smell to him so that's what we got so far we got smelly fish smelly fish let's put him in his opened container this will allow us to gauge what we have open versus what we have not and starting along the gambit here let's open up the first one and find out which one we got inside oh look at this little delightful chap he's like Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> Ooh, don't maybe want to be taking your kids to this guy's restaurant. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Again, there's a hole on the bottom. You can put them maybe on a pencil topper or a stylus. Yes, I suppose a stylus as well. And let's have a look. I'm going to assume he's part of the bin critters. Oh, yeah, there he is right there. I got number 132, which apparently is also a rare. I got Trash Rat. He's been eating cheese whiz. He's been eating something. Who knows what he's eating? But uh, I probably would advise staying away from him. Don't even go near this guy. So, trash rat. Smelly fish, trash rat. Two down. Put him in his little pail. Put him aside. Let's have a look at the next one. By the way, I believe I already mentioned that I got this at Walmart. Or actually, sorry, Toys R Us. He even spots forgotten where he's got this from. I got this actually at Toys R Us. The next one. Oh, this one looks like a little slug. Apparently has also gotten into the Cheese Whiz. And not only has he gotten into the Cheese Whiz, he's decided to wipe, rub himself, maybe curl along, slide along the Cheese Whiz. He's got Cheese Whiz all along the bottom of himself. There's also some Cheese Whiz on his head. I know it's not Cheese Whiz. Spot, that's not Cheese Whiz. I know, it's not, it's not Cheese Whiz. Having a look, I'm going to assume maybe it's one of the bin sex. Oh, and here we go. As quickly as I said that, there he is right there. The germ warm. The germ warm. The germ worm. Thank you. Now, even though this germ worm seems to have a little something on the side of him, like a little purple speck of something, this germ worm does not. He is 114, though. He is apparently also rare. I have managed so far successfully to get three rares. There is the germ worm. Worm. That's a hard thing to say. Germ worm. Thank you. Let's put him in his little bin. Don't the British call their trash cans bins? Take out the bin. Mom, take out the bin. Let's open this next one up. Oh, I think I razzed this one earlier. Got a little computer. Again, let's reference our guide. Looking along, looking along. I'm going to assume it's hard rubbish. Yeah, it's scummy screen. Now, this one is the only non-rare I've gotten so far. This one's common. No, wait, wait a minute. Now, this one's got a blue screen. Maybe Spot is looking in the wrong direction because scummy screen comes also with a black screen. Where's the yellow screen? scummy screen uh, I don't see him oh it helps if you guys can participate I don't actually see him see right there there's the blue one blue screen uh, right up there this black screen no yellow screen maybe he is rare I don't know 
I don't see him. Well, either way, I'm going to assume he is scummy screen, just a different color of scummy screen. Again, very rubbery, as you can see here. Let's put him into his garbage can. And lastly, let's move the camera out a bit. Lastly, we'll just put these all these bins together. If you're going to be organizing your creatures and other delightful things found in the garbage can, might, might as well organize it. Oh, and look what we got here. Kind of looks like uh, some something similar to Foul Nugget. Maybe he's one of the decayed ghosts from Pac-Man. This guy just couldn't get a job, lived on the streets. Look at the mess he's made of himself. And uh, let's maybe see here. Maybe he is one of the bacterias. No, no. Uh, some of these are really hard to make out. Well, there's a couple of trasholas right there. There's a green trashola. There's a red trashola. I'm going to assume that that's a yellow trashola. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am wrong, I'm sure you guys will gang up. Oh, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. There he is right up there. Ho oh, ho! See, as quickly as I said that, he's one of the grubs. He is the scum gum. It's a little tiny piece of gum. He's number nine, and he's also a rare. So, out of all of these, what did I get? I got four rares, is that right? Four rares and one common? I guess not all that bad. Now, you know what, for the most part, these are pretty cool. I don't know necessarily something I would, nece um, I would go and collect, but I like the idea that they come in these little tiny cans for organization. I like the fact that they're rubbery. A little bit of pliability to them. I like that quite a bit as well. Uh, yeah, these are pretty neat. Maybe not something I would collect, but I'm sure there are people out there that would collect these for sure. If you, if you are, you might maybe want to check out your local Toys R Us or Walmarts as well, which is what I said earlier. Uh, I did see these at Walmart as well. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Trash Packs Series 1, and these are the five pack uh, trashies. If you are collecting these, maybe let me know down below, and uh, maybe let me know how rare these ones are. Maybe I did find some super, super rare ones. Who knows? Who knows indeed? But thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. Certainly stick around. There are more collectible spots heading your way, and I'll see you guys next time.